What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dave. I'm a photographer and videographer from the Bay Area of California. And just recently on my last video, I shared that I have been really exploring a change up in how I shoot medium format film. Now you already probably know I shoot a lot on my Leica M11 and M6. But what you may not know is historically almost all of my film work was on medium format. For years, I carried around this beautiful 1950s Rolly Flex. It was so small and so compact. It traveled super easy, so easy to use, had a perfect focal length. Everything about it was right. But as film got more expensive, I started thinking, man, I only get 12 shots on this camera and for the same price in 35, I can get 36 shots, which is like three times the amount. So that's like three times the savings. And I wanted to get an M6. And so I sold the Rolly Flex a couple of years ago. And I honestly have been regretting it ever since. I have a medium format camera. I've talked about it several times in this channel. It's the RB67. This is a big boy. It's a big camera. You may have seen the video where I walked around Yosemite and shot a roll on this camera. One of my favorite videos I've made because it was such a peaceful and chill day, but to carry this thing around the park was a beast. I don't know if you've ever shot the RB67, but this is a big camera. It's super heavy. The lens that I keep on here is a nine which in medium format is like a 45. Fantastic lens, but if you want to carry other lenses, they're big. They're, these lenses are huge. There's really no compact, easy way to, to deal with this. And as much as I love it, it's just not the greatest camera for walking around and shooting. And I honestly have just like been using this camera more on a tripod, portrait stuff, and that's about it. I really don't take it out that much. It's very special to me because of the heritage that's come along with this camera for me and my family, but yeah, I don't really shoot it that much. And I greatly miss medium format photography. Several of you had awesome suggestions about what to do next, but I already had my heart set on one of two cameras. I was either looking at getting a Pentax 6.7, which I had one lined up here in the Bay Area from a local seller, but I didn't pull the trigger on it. It was a fantastic deal, but I just figured I should wait another week or two to see if something else pops on the market, the other side of what I was looking for, which is a Hasselblad 500C. M. I also like had the Mamiya 7 on the short list, but never really like seriously on there. And, it, and really it comes down as I shared in my last video to experience. I chase after the experience that I love when I'm shooting. So as you know, when I shoot the M11 or the M6, it's a rangefinder experience, which if you've never shot a rangefinder, first off, it's very small, very compact. The process of putting something in focus is to line up the images inside your viewfinder. And so you've got a small box in the, in the viewfinder and the big box, and you just line the two up and you're good to go. It's also fully manual. There's no autofocus. It's really fun to shoot it. And I love this experience. When it comes to medium format, I was thinking that the rangefinder experience, which I can get here on the Leica system, would kind of be the same thing and it might not like help me in my creative need to diversify. And I was worried that if I went with something like the Mamiya 7, it wouldn't be a long-term thing for me because I would ultimately have two of the same thing. By that same token, the Pentax 6.7 feels more like a traditional camera, like an SLR or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera in the sense that you kind of hold it the same way and kind of have the same systems functioning. The camera is a much bigger version of it. And I was also worried that with the Pentax, I would be facing size and weight still. The more I thought about it, and I thought about my time with the Rolly Flex, I really love waist level shooting. I love looking down through that mirror, through that viewfinder and seeing the backwards image and then trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to turn. Like I really miss that. 
So why not just grab another Rolly Flex? Well, it kind of goes back to the same reasons I sold it, which really only one, it was to fund the M6. I like diversity of lenses. I like to change lenses out, and sometimes I get bored with one focal length, and so I want to have options. I think that that's probably been my biggest thing as a creative throughout many years of either photography or music. I just want a lot of options, so I don't feel limited. Like, my creativity doesn't feel limited. You may not even know this, but I wrote a book several years ago, like a full length book, got it published with Harper Collins. It was really cool. Then the pandemic hit right before the book tour was supposed to hit and the rest is history. But I've kind of got this creative like need to diversify what I'm working on or even with the tools that I have, the ability to get the most out of those tools. And so the Rolly Flex being a single fixed lens didn't feel like the right camera to go back to. At that point, all roads pointed over to the Hassi, and so I today actually picked up this Hasselblad 500 CM, and it has that standard lens on it, the Zeiss Planar 80 millimeter, which again is kind of like a 40 millimeter, 2.8, and of course there's other lenses that you can get on this camera, which I very much plan to grab at least one more lens, something with a lot of compression. But I felt like this camera would serve me really well because it is that top-down viewfinder experience that I really love. It's nice and bright. It's super small. In fact, I wanna show you guys, compare the two. My God, I can barely pick this one up without two hands. <laughs> Let's start by talking about like from the bottom up. If I was to kind of make these level, you see they're quite different in size. If you kind of level them here, you can again see that they are quite different. When you pop these up, oh gosh. <sighs> and I put these flat, like if I hold them in front of me, just like this, you can really see the size difference here. I mean, it's a pretty big difference in the size. Okay, I recognize how I'm showing you this, doesn't really help, so here's some photos. But as you can see, these, these cameras are vastly different in size and weight, like the weight is completely different. I think the Mamiya RB67, weighs twice as much as this little Hassie does, and I, I'm super pumped about it. This is a classic camera, and if you've learned anything about me after a year on YouTube, I love classic stuff, whether it's antiques, anything kind of vintage that's, that's survived and proven itself through time. This camera went to the moon. Not, not this one, but this is literally the same system, though with some modifications that NASA used in the Apollo missions. I love good heritage and a camera. So let's put the Hasselblad and the M11 kind of side by side here and you get the idea. They're, they're really both very compact cameras. In fact, the Hassi is just a little smaller than the M11 in length without the lens on it, just like the box itself with the back on it, which is pretty cool. I mean, that really tells you how small this camera actually is. I think the biggest takeaway here kind of goes back to what I shared earlier this week. Photography is all about the experience of taking photos. If you chase down an experience that excites you and gets you motivated to go out and shoot, you're more likely to go out and shoot. And the cool thing is experience is super subjective. It's not objective. Like I can't impose the experiences that I love on you and you can't impose the experiences you love on me. That's why a lot of times when I'm looking at my comments and people are giving their opinions, it's almost like they're drawing a line of right and wrong. This is the right way to shoot this camera or shoot that film or to do this thing. And consequently, they make a point that there's a wrong way to do it. And at the end of the day, none of that is real. Art is subjective and experiences are subjective. I'm pretty stoked to move forward in my photography career and passions using the Leica M11 as my like go-to digital camera, using the Leica M6 whenever I want to shoot 35 film, and then using the Hasselblad 500CM when I want to shoot medium format. And I feel like these three cameras together kind of complete what I would be looking for in photography tools to make the kind of work that I want to make and to capture the kind of moments that I want to capture. 
So I'm super pumped about my Leica's big brother. Not much bigger, just a little bit bigger. All right guys, so that was like my philosophical thought for you today. What is your ideal experience? Like what are you chasing after? What gives you the most life? Drop a comment below and let me know because I want to see what everyone else is feeling. You guys are listening to me. Let me listen to you some as well. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.